It's literally like all pumpkins, but I just want to show you guys all of the different pumpkins that I ended up getting. My house is super, super cold right now, but I am like sweating in this sweater, so don't mind the air conditioning. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley, if you haven't been here before. And if you're joining me for the first time today, I'm super excited to have you. Thank you for joining us for this video today. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be showing you my fall decor pieces that I ended up buying this year, which you can go ahead and check out my last year's video as well. I did like a decorate with me for fall and I also did a haul in that video too. So you can go ahead and check out last year's video too. This was a video I think that has been requested a few times for me. So I'm just going to show you guys exactly what I ended up getting and how I'm styling it in my home. So let's get on into it. I don't want to keep you guys waiting any longer. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, I post a new video every week. So go ahead and click the bell to get notified when those go live. The first thing I like don't even know where to start because when I was preparing Preparing for this video, I literally thought to myself like, wow, I really didn't buy a lot of fall stuff this year and like being surrounded by everything in one pile. <laughs> I did buy quite a few things for fall this year. So let me just get started with like the stuff that I ended up getting from Target because where else do I ever like ever shop? Starting off with like majority of these things came from their like dollar spot section or I think it's called like spots playground or something like that. So they have the dollar to three dollar to five dollar items items in there and a lot of it came from there so it's pretty affordable so I'm gonna show you guys those so I got this little orange ceramic pumpkin and then also this little green one and this one is like a little bit taller uh, like a lighter orange so these are the three colors that I got and I just thought they matched my like living room pretty well so I ended up getting these they match kind of like the colors of my house so I ended up picking these up and these were only like a dollar a piece so I got those three little pumpkins and then I also ended up getting these two little white pumpkins but surprise they're candles and honestly guys these smell so good I don't ever really expect much from the candles in their dollar spot section or spots playground or whatever because I feel like they're always too vanilla-y. Like that like undertone of vanilla just kind of makes me a little sick to my stomach when I have it burning in my house. So I don't, I try to like stay away from them. But this one I was like, oh my gosh, how cute. It's like a little white pumpkin. I pick it up, it's a candle, it smells great. The scent is orchard clove. So I don't know. I thought they were super cute. And again, these are ceramic, so they're super chic and just the cute little white pumpkin. You can put these in the bathroom. You can put them like on your little centerpiece, stuff like that. The next pumpkins that I picked up from Target, well, I picked up a lot of pumpkins from Target this year. <laughs> the next pumpkins that I ended up picking up from Target are these two cutie little woven pumpkins. I thought they were super cute. Plus I'm also shooting like fall product lines for my clients. So I thought I would use these as cute little props because their branding is like a little bit more boho. So I picked these up for photo shoots and also I get to have them in my house <laughs> Now this one here is a pumpkin from last year, but I just wanted to show you guys for reference This is the one that I picked up last year and it's like that Sherpa Texture that everyone was like obsessed with last year for fall, but they had pumpkins very similar I actually like the texture of this one a little bit more you can kind of see it's like really fluffy But it's like kind of curly this one here just looks more like teddy blanket So I picked this one up because I also have some like pops of yellow in my house as well so I ended up getting that little guy just because I thought they were super cute so I ended up getting this little ceramic pumpkin and I think this is this is the threshold brand I think these were threshold as well so I'll try to link anything that I can for you guys down below if you guys are interested because they still have a whole bunch of pumpkins out right now and I like to have pumpkins because you can start now and have them like all the way through Thanksgiving it's not like a Halloween like ghost or something that you've got to really like kind of take down you know before Thanksgiving you can always just keep the pumpkins up so I'll go ahead and link everything that I can down below in the description for you guys but I got this little ceramic pumpkin and I just thought it was super cute it's like very neutral toned and I feel like you can kind of just put it anywhere I love that this is like it's like kind of speckled this is coated on the like brown so it's a little bit shinier and then this is like a rough material so I just thought it was super cute kind of like natural very easy to display so this one is a reversible sign and it has these cute little fall pumpkins on here and then also on the other side it says I love fall most of all which I really got it for like this pumpkin-y side oh that's upside down 
I got it really for like the pumpkin side of things just because I thought it was like a cute like little filler for in my kitchen. So I ended up picking this sign up and it is wooden. It's not like super cheapy or anything, but we know Target does things pretty high quality. So the next thing that I got is this cutie little tray and I honestly did not know what to do with this until I found these cute little filler balls. I don't know if you can really see them because they're like in the plastic, but they're just like these wicker balls that you can probably just put in there. It's almost like a potpourri display, but these are not potpourri. They're just like little fillers. Got a bag of these so I can put them in this tray and kind of just display them in the living room. So I got this tray and those little fillers. This, so it looks like a little cheese board, but it actually has these little feet on it. So it's a little riser. And I just thought it was the cutest thing. And now they have it in this shape and they also have a round one. But literally this was like the last one at the Target that I went to. I've not been able to find them anywhere else. In the span of like a month, I've literally gone to multiple Targets in my area. I've only ever found one of these because I was looking for another one for my mom and I couldn't find it. I'm just like, come on guys. These are so stinking cute, but I can't find any more of them. So I'm a little upset, but I'm upset because I can't find them for other people that I want to gift them for, but it's fine. The last few things that I found from the Target dollar section were these floral picks. I just loved this like dried look. They're so cheap and they look super cute. This is like very Magnolia. I also picked up this vase, not the exact one that I was looking for. Again, couldn't find this anywhere, but they also have this vase in this exact same shape in like an amber color. And I really, really, really wanted that one, but I had been to several Targets and I only ever found the clear. So I just ended up picking up the clear and I thought it was like the perfect size for these picks so I ended up just kind of putting them in there for now. So I only have four more things that I got from Target and two of them are candles so I'm just going to show you guys those first. The two candle scents that I ended up picking up were the sugared cinnamon which smells delicious and it's not like overbearing cinnamon. It's like a light cinnamon scent because I hate when like the cinnamon burns your nose. This is probably like my new favorite fall scent. I have another one that I really really like. Audrey requests the candle around fall time and I'll show you guys that one in just a second. I mentioned it in my video last year. So if you watched that one, you probably know what it is or kind of like remember it a little bit. But this one here that I got is called Golden Sap and Spice with chestnut and smoked vanilla. So this one is just like a very warm, cozy scented candle. So I got the sugared cinnamon and then the golden sap and spice candles from Target, which again, if I can, I'll go ahead and link them down below. Now I'm also obsessed with having like fall themed mugs too. So I have a few from last year that I got, but I ended up getting this one from Magnolia, the Magnolia line at Target. And it's just this like rust kind of color and then this cream speckled bottom, I guess. I don't know, but I just thought it was super cute. It looks kind of like more on the handmade side. It's not like super perfect. It's not exactly round. So I ended up picking this one up because it's only like five bucks. And I just, I like to have fall themed mugs for myself, especially now that I'm working from home and I like have time to drink my coffee out of an actual mug. <laughs> so I ended up picking this one up. The last thing that I wanted, I was on the hunt for some like cute hand towels for my kitchen. And I ended up getting this one, which is the threshold hand towel. I will pick up the little hand towels from like the Target dollar section or whatever, but they're more like tea towels and they don't absorb anything. But I want a cute towel that I can display that actually dries my dishes. So I ended up picking the threshold one up with these little pumpkins. And I just thought it would be like, a cute little addition to my kitchen just add a little pop of pumpkin in there some fall feels and actually is like functional and not just a like, cute now I think that's it from Target I have a few other things that I wanted to show you guys that was like the bulk of this little haul here but last year I ended up getting some like yellow which they're more like this color yellow pillow covers for my couch but I wanted to kind of tone down that pop of yellow and kind of go with more of like that orangey kind of rust feel and as you can see, this pillow behind me here is super cute. I ended up getting more pillow covers off of Amazon and it's like this orangish rust color, but they're a little bit more boho because they have the tassels on them, which is kind of more like my aesthetic in my home. I have a little bit more of a boho feel. As you can see, I have like my little planter here with my fiddle leaf that's woven, kind of dark back there, but like my little macrame thing on the wall. So I kind of wanted to stick with that like more boho kind of vibe for fall. So 
I got these because I really still like the velvet. Like I feel like it's a little bit more cozy, a little bit more luxe. But just with these little tassels, it adds a little something. I picked up the cutest little pumpkins from my grocery store. These are actual pumpkins. These are not fake. So I will have to throw these away at some point. But I got a little white one and then this one here, which is white with orange stripes. So I picked those up. I also picked up this cute little velvet pumpkin from the dollar store, which I know the dollar store. It looks super cute. It matches pretty well with those pillow covers that I ended up getting. It does have a lot of glue on it, but that's fine. <laughs> so I picked this one up. So this one here is another fall mug that I picked up from Ross or Marshalls. I can't remember. But again, I just love having those like really fall feeling kind of mugs. So I picked this one up and it just has like some florals on it, but it's like a very neutral mug. The candle that I was telling you guys about last year is this Marshmallow Fireside. Now this is like one of my favorite fall scents. I love it because it's like smoky, but still kind of sweet and not too vanilla. It's perfect for fall, but also I really love to transition this one into like Christmas. I feel like it's it's just that cozy kind of like cold weather scent. So that concludes the fall haul part of this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed. I'm gonna show you guys the final reveal of how I ended up decorating everything now. I'm super excited for you guys to see how it all turns out. I hope you guys enjoy the reveal as much as I do because I, can, I love when my house is decorated for fall. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that now. enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, I post a new video every week, so go ahead and click that bell to get notified when those go live. Thank you guys so much for watching, and again, I'm going to link everything that I can in the description down below, and if you guys want to, go ahead and check out last year's video, and let's kind of compare. Which video did you prefer better? Did you like last year's decor, or did you prefer like this year's pumpkin haul? <laughs> so let me know in the comments down below. Happy fall, y'all.